Hey folks, now I'm going to show you how easy and satisfying it is to bake textures from a complex multi subpart model onto a low resolution one while maintaining all the cool details you had on your original high resolution sculpt. So as you can see, I have two folders here containing high res and low res models. I have eight high res pieces which I sculpted in ZBrush and the same amount of low-res pieces which I will project those high-res models onto. You may wonder why do I have actually 10 pieces in low-res folder, but no worries, it's because I won't do any baking for the helmet lamps which I will use as they are, since they don't have any details really. First things first, go to Scene menu and add Bake Project. The latest Toolbag 5 now supports interactive real-time baking mode, along with the offline mode of course. So let's leave it at the interactive mode for now. By default, the bake project has only one baking group containing high-res and low-res slot pairs for you to populate, but since we have 8 model pieces to bake, we need to add 7 baking groups more. So let's add them by clicking Add Bake Group button. Now let's import our high-res model pieces, it's going to take some time to load, as they are high-res sculpts. Here are our high-res sculpts, they are very heavy triangle-wise. Let me turn on the wireframe for a second so you can see how dense uh, these sculpts really are. Uh, yeah, very dense as you can see. So let's collapse those models in the outliner so it's more clean. And now we have to name each of the baking group in accordance with the model names we're going to bake with better clarity. Just double click the name of the model, copy its name, then double click the name of the baking group and paste that name. Pretty simple. Repeat the process for the remaining baking groups, ensuring that it's clear which baking group is responsible for each specific model pair. Now just drag each of these high-res models onto high-res slots named high inside of the corresponding baking groups. But make sure they really end up being inside high-res slots, otherwise the whole process will not work. By the way, you may notice that uh, they disappear uh, as you add them to baking groups, but don't worry, they're just being hidden and you can always turn them back on again if you need them to see uh, for any reason. Just click on that show high button and you will see them again. Now that we have all the high-res models populated in high-res slots of Baker, let's import low-res models and repeat the same process for the low-resolution models. But this time we will drag them over uh, low slots in each corresponding baking group. As I already mentioned earlier, I don't need any baking for the helmet lamps. Uh, that's why I don't import those two models here. Collapsing all the model names again to keep outliner nice and clean and then dragging each of those low poly pieces onto low poly slots of the corresponding baking groups. Again, make sure you place them precisely into low slots, otherwise things might go wrong. Collapsing and collapsing again. Now we need to set the output folder for the textures we're going to bake. I will just output them into the same folder which contains low-res and high-res models, naming them Helmet. Now we need to show which maps we need to bake. For demonstration purposes I will pick Normals with green channel flipped, Curvature and Ambient Occlusion. Let's leave texture resolution on 2K for now. This should be really it. We are ready to bake all the high resolution details onto our low-res model. So press start to actually bake and write all the textures we've selected into the output folder. And as you can see, we indeed have these textures appearing in our folder. And to see them actually applied on our model, let's click on the preview material. And here we go. This is our low resolution model with all the textures applied on it and ready to be used in any game engine. And of course, we can continue working with this now much lighter model of the helmet inside of Toolbag itself. We can change the skybox, add or remove lights to our liking, uh, play with materials even further, taking them to another level by creating a texture project uh, pretty much similar to what you would normally do in Substance Painter. Thanks for watching and see you next time.